a lot of Thompson's gazelles, and in this really windy weather, they're probably going to be hunkered down in this long grass. So there's a good chance the girls will be able to maybe spook one up for dinner. Now, of course, I was, I was telling Dave a little while ago that this is horrible human weather, but if you're a big cat, this is just wonderful hunting weather. This wind will not let your prey hear what's happening around you. So, I think the girls might be in for a treat. Well, let's get a bit closer while they have a break on a termoteria. Now, it's all happening. I, I forgot to say, actually, on our way, we heard about the girls who were coming here, <laughs> and we passed 16 members of the Paradise Pride as well, just having a snooze on top of some rocks uh, about over there. But there were no potential wildebeest around them, so we let them snooze, and we, we kept moving on. And uh, we've also got a report near Governors uh, of five nomadic young males of about four years old. So depending on what happens, there could be lots, lots and lots going on this evening. But for now, let's stick with Amani's daughters. See, even they're a little bit nervous in this, this wind. Of course, as much as it helps them for hunting, their hearing and uh, sense of smell is also affected, so they've got to be careful for, about lions and hyenas. Oh, this wind is so strong. But looking back over me, I can still see the escarpment, so I'm hoping that's a good judge that I'm not about to get drenched just yet. Now this is quite a quite a risky area for cheetah. Of course there's high reward because there's lots of potential prey around. But also this is Paradise Pride and the Musketeer Lion Territory. There's also a very, very healthy hyena population in this area. Hi, Philip. Philip says, but these are young girls. It is said that females don't form coalitions. Uh, Philip, is, it isn't unusual uh, in their first year after becoming independent from their mother that they will stick together for comfort. But once they reach sexual mat maturity, they will, will split. So at the moment, they are young. This is, they've only been away from mom for a few months, so they're still sticking to those cub bonds, very similar to what you would see with leopard cubs. But as they get older, uh, those bonds will break and they will become solitary.